Hello guys and gals, and we're back with more of making a map in Heroes of Might and Magic 3. This is for the complete uh, edition. Oh, we're gonna turn on the red for now. We'll turn it off for a little while so we can explore this map a little bit better. Um, we've mainly been focusing on the underground, which is probably a good thing. Um, I'm still not sure if there's some kind of limit here. So let's see if there's any kind of limiting factor. We'll, we'll see. So let's see what we got here. This isn't too bad. I do want to do something with this room here and this room here, but I'm not sure what yet. Um, this We have we've did finish off this area, I think, as far as I know. We could work on this area. We do have the um, formula for that. And we have this to area to do this one. Okay, we did a lot with this one. I think that we could probably finish this one off. And I think that that's what we'll do. So let's see. Um, it's just going to be putting more resources in. Okay, this room has a flow to it. As you can see, this is the back wall. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put in some more treasure chests. And then we're going to put in some gold, because that is what the formula is. And then we're just going to do this. I don't know. Um, I guess that we'll just do this. Uh, should we... Okay, it is a double wide up there, so we could technically put a monster here. Uh, we'll put in some Master Gremlins, I guess. Let me find those. Here's some Master Gremlins. We'll put them right there. In fact, we'll probably have Master Gremlins guarding most of these rooms because it's a double wide until we get to this point. In which case, um... It'll probably be different. Anyways, anytime that there's an opening at the top, we're going to stack them in this method, which is um, basically what we're going to do, you know? Anyways, uh, this is going to have a lot more treasure, though, so I might have a different guard. Um, let's put you... Where could we put you? Put you right there. Okay, I kind of like that. Okay. Um, yeah. We want to put a different monster here, I guess. Either golems. Maybe we'll put some golems here. Some iron golems. Okay, so um, let's go ahead. I mean, there has to be like a limit, I would imagine. So I'm expecting to hit that limit any time. Then we're going to have to rebalance everything, which is going to be a little bit problematic. Okay, it's going to be a lot problematic. Anyways, um, yeah, just a bunch of dragging and dropping items, which is basically riveting gameplay, I know. Anyways, um, this has a, a flow to it also. We're going to do this. We're going to just leave this... We'll just leave this, you know, unguarded. So there's at least some free treasure here. Um, hmm... This room here, I'm not sure. I want to do something with this room, but I'm not sure what yet. Uh, we do have a guard here. We could put a... Okay. Um, yeah, we made this so that um, there would always be a way around. Um, hmm. Okay. I'm going to look up here. Okay, I kind of see what, what we're dealing with here. Um, okay. I like it. We can, um... Well, we know this is the back wall, so maybe we just do something like this. Um, actually, what we could do... Hmm. Okay. Let me find a monster. And I'll uh, put a. Okay, if we do that, then all we have to do is put you right here. Now, um, we might as well, since I'm, I have a golem here, I think that warrants this room to have a bunch of treasure. So we can do that, I believe. And uh, there. Now we just. Um... Oh. Why, why is that there? I swear, I swear I put it right there. Oh, well. Anyways, there we go. And we're going to just put this here. Um, if I were to put a different monster there, I might actually put some better treasure in here. More gold, less tre more treasure chests. Um, but random resources are going to come in very, very handy. So 
we'll just um, do this. Okay. And this. Oh, didn't work. There. Okay, so let's see what we got here. I think we'll keep this clear right here because we're going to keep this area here clear as well. So let's see what else we got here. Oh. Okay, this... <coughs> I see. Okay, so this room definitely has a flow to it. Let's go ahead, put in these treasure chests. This room at first looks kind of like it's symmetrical but it really isn't so now I think we'll probably put some gremlins here too because there is a double wide ho highway here a corridor so we should be fine I think we'll just uh, do that okay and um, we'll do that. There we go. And then we just need to pull out some gremlins and we'll be good. So we need two gremlins, master gremlins. There we go. Pop and pop. There we go. Okay. Wow. Um, we're done basically with this entire section, right? Okay, and we started working with this, which is good. This is kind of going to be the template that we use. But we can go on up here. Okay, this is good. This is good. Um, we have the template figured out for this. Uh, we are going to put a Master Gremlin right there. Um, put in some resources around it. Good. Um, oh, and we can put one there. Now we just go bop, 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 and that should finish this entire parallel, which is good. That entire parallel is done. Um, what that leaves is this. I'm not sure what we're going to do with this yet. I'm sure they'll figure out a formula for it, but um, for now, I think what we do is we might as well do that. That way we have this entire area visible now. Um, okay, now, what I see here is, um, hmm, do we want to do that? Hmm. I might, um, hmm. I see. Okay, so, these, these rooms here, I think they're basically symmetrical, to a certain extent. Um... I think if the player advent actually adventures this far, they should probably get some free resources. I don't know. I can always change this later. But uh, we can um, basically just put in some treasure chests here. Um, wait. Oh. So we can do this. I'm pretty sure, okay, wait a minute. Yeah, we can do this, okay. And we're gonna put treasure chest right there. Yes, okay. So, um, reward hard work. You, re you reward the player for their hard work by giving them lots of treasure. I don't know. I might change this later, but for now, we're just going to uh, roll with this for now. Um, now, I'm not sure what we want to do with these little hallways. 
We're getting so much treasure up here, I might just not do anything with them for now. Yeah, I don't think I'll do anything with those. Okay, so... Um, this is only a single wide, so that's... And we're going to be putting in a lot of treasure here, so let's put in some um, iron golems. We'll put them down one so that there it's possible to dodge. Anyways... Um, this we will treat as a room that goes in one direction. So, um, we're just going to do this. What we could do, though, is we could do something like this and put some gremlins right there. Um, there. There. And there. Okay. That's that's not bad. That way, there people can still get through without f having to fight. So um, yeah, okay. Now this is a this is a symmetrical room. Okay, these rooms are symmetrical, so they're going to be different from this room. Um, we're going to go with the sym symmetry of the room when we decide what to put in each room, in other words. So we do this. Now, all we have to do... This room definitely has a flow to it. And uh, we'll take full advantage of that by doing this. Okay. <coughs> hmm. Put that there. Okay, so, um, all we have left to actually do, surprisingly, are these three rooms right here. And then we're done with this entire area, which is kind of cool. Um, I think the first thing we do is we do this, and we put something there. Um, we're going to do that. We should probably put some enemies in here, just so it isn't too easy. Um, so we might... Okay, let me check on these gremlins. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that or not. Because this one is going to be guarded by um, iron golems. Um, okay, well, for now, let's go ahead and... Um, See how this looks, basically. This is a symmetrical room, by the way. So, um, I think what we do is we start in the middle here. I think, is this the middle? One, two, one, two. Yeah, it is. And then we, um... Okay, if we do it like this, the way that I'm planning, then we'll need um, powerful enemies like golems. We'll probably put a golem here and a golem here. There. And then all we have to do is uh, go resource, 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 and resource. So I kind of like the way that looks. This is another room that's symmetrical. You know what? I think I feel uh, the need to put in some more golems here. Um, so we can just go bop, 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 bop. Again, this is inconsequential considering what the hero down here starts with, so... It's only a minor inconvenience, really. But, let's see. Okay, so that's two. There's still two rooms left. This room is fine. We're just going to put some uh, treasure in the middle, like so. We're going to put that like that, and then we're just going to fill in the rest with random resources. There we go. With this one, uh, we can 
Yeah, I guess. I guess we'll just do this. Yeah. And then we just uh, do this. And then we just do this. Okay. I think that should do it. Let's see, because we have all the main rooms taken care of, looks like. Um, all the little anti-chambers are taken care of. And this is this area is what I would consider done. Okay, let's go over here. Oh, we haven't really done much with this one, have we? Oh, yeah, I didn't know what to do with this. Hmm. I still don't. This is going to have a lot of really big rooms. I'm not sure what to do with that. So we're going to go and skip that for now and then to go over here. Again, there's a lot of really big rooms here. Hmm. So that's my question. I'm not sure exactly what to do, but we can do the outer the outer area here first, I would say. Um I really like the shapes of this uh, the shape of this area. It's kind of got a whole bunch of symmetrical rooms, which is kind of cool. Um Hmm. This big room here, I'm not sure what to do with. Let me try something here. What if we do something like this? We put these around the, out the outer edge, maybe. Okay, the room is not symmetrical. That's obvious now. Um, Okay. Now what we could do is we could put four treasure chests in the middle. Kind of. It's not going to be symmetrical, which is going to kind of bug me, I guess. Um. Okay. I think. Okay, I'm not sure. But I think I need to put in some, um, okay, these are the undead. Um, let's see, what monsters from the undead can we put in then? We need undead monsters. Okay. Given the roster we have here, um, this is a massive treasure room. We're talking massive. So I think what we do is we actually go whites. Put white there. And we'll put in some more of these undead menaces here. Actually, these are wraiths, not whites. Yeah, these are wraiths. Okay. Um, okay. Now, I do want to put in some gold here. Uh, we could put in... Uh, if we're going to put in that many wraiths, then we need to make it worthwhile. In fact, I think we should probably use one of our artifacts here. Put in a random artifact there. Um... Actually, in that case, we need to make it a little bit more difficult. So we'll put another one right there. And we will just um, put in the rest with resources. This here, this here, this here, this here. And we'll just do this. This room looks okay, I guess. And we just go bop. Bop and bop. Okay. I kind of like the way that looks. It, it looks, at least it looks intri intriguing. So we're going to save real quick. Bop. Okay, because we got a lot done so far. It's been 20 minutes. We are making good time here. Considering we finished, completely finished off. Well, wait, it wasn't that wasn't the area we finished off. This was the area we finished off right here. So, um, we're over here now. Um, let's see. 
again, I don't know if I want to fill in these these little alcoves. I don't think I do. I think I'll keep the alcoves empty because these rooms are huge, so we're going to be putting a lot of treasure in them. Um, okay, we already have a formula for this this style of room, so what we're going to do is we're going to take some of these um, skeleton warriors and we're going to put them up there. And um, this room has a flow to it. So um, it has a feel to it. So what we're going to do is, since it's only being guarded by skeletons, we're going to do this. We need some gold, some leprechaun gold, and then we just go bop. And we fill in the rest with um, resources. wish there was a tool that you could just like just be quicker if I didn't have to drag and drop all the time. They need a tool for resources like they do for the... Um, the obstacles. Okay, so this is fine. What we could do is we could just keep this momentum going, um, do all the side rooms, and then um, do the, one, the rooms in the middle. Because we we do have a we actually have a strategy for this one. So we're just gonna put this those guys there. Um, we need um, oh wait we'll put um, these guys right there, and we will put you guys right here. Okay, so that's good. Now, um, we need some resources and some treasure, because everybody loves treasure. Um, this, and then this. Okay. We're going to put some treasure here, and put some treasure up here, put some treasure up here, put some treasure up here. Okay, now we just have resources that we need to stockpile. Bop. Bop. And we just, um... Fill in the rest with resources. Now, if I were to use a tougher monster there, then I'd probably put in better treasure. But, um... As it is, um... I think this will be adequate for what we need. Now, we just go... Bop. We go bop, bop, and bop. Okay, um, okay, we're, all, we're almost done with this anyways, the side rooms anyways. And then we'll probably do the top rooms, because those don't look too difficult to figure out. We'll just have to figure out a um, formula for it, and then we can... Then it'll go very, very smoothly, I would say. Okay. Then... Okay. And there. And we have a very unique room here that goes right along the side of the wall, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is a, another room that really has a feel to it. So um, let's go ahead. We're going to seal this room off like this. Since it is indeed only one wide here, and we want to make it so that people can get by the rooms without having to fight. There we go. Now, I think what we do is we are just going to do this. And then we need another monster. Put a monster here. We'll put a monster here. And, um, hmm. Let's go ahead. This room is what I would call symmetrical. It isn't exactly perfectly symmetrical, but um, it isn't too different than the other one. So we'll do... Oh, that didn't work. There. Okay, so that's done. Now these rooms here... I have to come up with a formula for these rooms here. Um... Mm, I see. Okay, so we do have a room here. Okay, wait, let me... okay, up here, this room is almost done. Just this area right here. 
this area right here and right here. So we'll get to that later. Well, let's see. My guess is that what we'll probably do is we want to make all these rooms as symmetrical as possible. So we need more skeletons. Even if these rooms... I guess these rooms are symmetrical to a certain extent. So, um, we can do that. Yeah. Okay. So, as for the, um, the formula that we'll use, we'll probably put a treasure here, treasure here, that puts the gold in the middle like this. It puts the lotion on the skin or it gets the hose again. So we do this, and we do this, 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 and this, and this, okay, and really capitalizing on all these random resources. We'll put these in the corners, there we go, and... Finish it off with some gold. That and that. Okay, so let's see how many more of these we have to do. Okay. That's not bad at all. Okay, so we have this room here to do. We're not going to put a guard in here because we do have a creature spawner here. Um, we will probably follow the same pattern that we had over here, except without this. So, we're going to just do that. Okay, now, we have this area right here. Okay, I hadn't decided what to do with these rooms. Um, now I think about it, we did put, um, these these um, alleyways to use here. Should I do that over here? The alleyways aren't as big. I suppose we could, though. I don't know. Those rooms do have a lot of treasure, though. Already. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So, anyways. Let's come up with a formula for these rooms here. There's one one, two, three, four, five. So there are five rooms here. Um, I think what we do is we need more monsters. So I think we just put a... Oh. Wait a minute. Let me see. Okay, so well, this should be fine because it is kind of double wide and people could take... To, could bypass. So I'm going to work under that assumption that people can um, dodge these monsters. Okay. And uh, we'll put um, let's put a um, some zombies right here. That way we can put some better loot in that room. So anyways, we can um, put that there. Okay, put that there, okay, put that there, okay, and uh, that's going to help the room look more uniform. Now, um, this room here, hmm, since we put in a better creature, we could just um, basically do something like this. This room definitely has a flow. This being the far wall, that's where we're going to put the best treasure. And it's going to be kind of symmetrical, too, with this. Um, but anyways, I don't know if we'll do very much with this room. Other than this. So, um... Okay, so, oh, I missed two. Okay, and oops, there. So that area is done. Now, the template for this room. What would be cool, I think, would be if we were able to, um, oh, 
Well, it kind of changes here, but that's because the, the flow of the room changes, but um, would it be too much treasure is, is, is my question. Would it literally be too much treasure to do this? Uh, if I do that, then I'd have to put less treasure in these rooms. Uh, that's something to consider. Um, up here, we do have all these rooms, too. I don't know if I'll put treasure in those. Um, it's more of a hub. A, a hub, a uh, travel hub. Anyways. What we could try... Let's see how this looks, first of all. If I do this, though, then we would have to put in more powerful monsters. One, two, three, four, five. So five treasure chests. Uh, one, two, okay. That would be a lot. Um, I don't know if skeletons are the go-to monster here. Um, let's see. Put them here for now. That way we don't waste them. Um, I'm thinking we need at least, if we're going to have that much treasure in here, we need at least a level 3 creature to guard it. So we need more wraiths. So we'll upgrade these to wraiths so we can put better treasure in here. Just for balancing sake. And, um, well, we need another wraith. There we go. Now, Let's see what else we can do here. Okay, we have this. I want to see how this room looks. Basically, we're just following the pattern here. So this is going to be like a really neat looking pattern. It's going to look real cool. But again, I don't know. These rooms are a lot bigger than maybe some of the other areas. So this might have more treasure. I don't know. But we'll see. Anyways, this room is almost done in other words. And I think one wraith ought to be enough to protect all of this treasure. Kind of like it. Um, we can start right here. Okay, and even down here, up to this point right here, this all should match. Which is kind of cool. Uh, three, four, and then five. Then we need five gold. Piles. Five gold. Yes, then we have um, random resources. So, yeah, I kind of like the pattern here. Uh, well, that didn't work. There we go. Now, this room here. Yeah, I think we want to just keep on rinsing and repeating because um, symmetry reasons. Ah, there we go, drag that over. So anyways, we have our, we have our gold here. And there we go. Now we just need our random resources. Now on the map, this is going to look kind of impressive, but when it's actually put into play, then it's going to look a little bit different. Because these random resources will become random resources. They're not all going to become the same resource. So, so far... Okay, we just have this room enough to do. I kind of like this, but I will have to cut down on the amount of, amount of resources that we put in those rooms. Um, I might have to put something in the middle of the rooms just so that the, so that um, there's something there, I suppose. Um, like obstacles in the middle of each of those rooms. That might look cool, actually. Um, let me just fix this, finish this room here. And then I will try that, see how it looks. Um, I think those rooms are somewhat symmetrical, so once I figure out where the center point of the room is, then we should be in business. I think that room is way too open anyways, so we could just basically make it a lot more narrow and more fun. We need some claustrophobic rooms. And boom, and boom, and boom, 
And vine boom. There we go. Now, these rooms here are all symmetrical. Now, let's figure out where the center point is. Um, I'm just going to use these for a point of reference. We're not going to keep these. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. I might leave these in here, actually, but let's see. So one, two... Um... Okay, uh... Okay, so uh, we're probably not going to keep any of these here, of course. Okay, I see. Uh, let's go to the obstacle tool, and we need to use this brush here. We're going to go bop, 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 bop. Okay. We're not going to do it in that room. Good. Do that. Uh, do that. No, we'll do that. Do that. Okay. 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 Good. Uh, we'll skip that room. There. Um, okay. I don't think we want that. We'll see how this looks. There we go. These rooms now look a lot better, in my opinion. So, um, that's going to make it a little bit easier to fill them up, and that way we're not... Oh, don't know why that happened, but we're going to undo that. There. Um, we went off this stage anyways. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's see. So, yeah, I kind of like this. Let's go ahead and save. This especially looks cool. Let me turn off the red. Ooh, yeah, I like that. The, the middle of that room looks awesome. Okay, so... Now, um, I'm not sure exactly. I know we probably don't want to keep all of this. We could, I guess. Um, I think that's way too much treasure, though. Hmm. So I think what we do is um, I'll put this here. And we're going to put another one up here. And we're gonna put some gold here. Yeah. Okay, we're not gonna put any guards here. Okay, um let's do that. And then put um that. Okay. Um it's, I think this is fine now. Uh, we'll just put this here. We need more gold, so we can put right there. We need more monsters, so we'll just put another skeleton dude here. And now we just need to um, start sealing these off with resources. Like so. There we go. There we go. That way we don't have to fill it 
quite up all the way with treasure. Um, there we go. So, yeah, I kind of like the way this looks. Uh, we just need to fill the rest of this in with um, resources. Should be easier to come up with a formula now that there's less space to contend with. There we go. I kind of like that. Um, I'm not so sure. Yeah, we might as well use some more skeletons. Why not? We'll just put in some more skeletons here. And then just put in the rest as um, resources. Sure, why not? See how this looks. If this looks terrible, then I'll get rid of it. But I kind of like this. I can always get rid of anything that I've done later if I think of a better use for these rooms. And one more. Okay. Okay, so with this room, we do have an enemy in here already. Um, there's one that's gold in here. I'm going to put a gold right here to make up for the dude being there. Um, we're not going to, again, guard this room with anything, so we're just going to um, fill it up. Um, actually, wait. Let's go back to this tool right here. Can we do something cool here? I want to see if I can do something cool here. Like, maybe something like this. I think that looks kind of weird. Mm. Yeah, that looks kind of weird. Uh... Yeah, I don't think I like that. Yeah, I don't like that. I guess that... Uh, yeah, I guess we just do this. Well, putting something in the middle of the room might be cool. I don't know. It just doesn't seem to fit the theme, you know? To just have, like, some random rock there. I don't know. It just seems kind of... I don't know. in that. Okay. We have these rooms here now. They're done. At least they're built now. Um, maybe not exactly done done, but they're they're kind of done. I don't know. Anyways, let's go ahead and do the same thing. Put these in the doorways. Not have this, gar this room be guarded. There we go. Um... Hmm. Yeah, okay, let's save, because we've... It's been 43 minutes, okay. Hmm, what else can we do? Let's think carefully about what we can do here. Um... Because I know I want to do this. And I do probably want to put some um, enemies in these rooms as well. So we'll we'll consider that. Let's see. Yeah, we do this, and then this, and then this, and then this. Okay. So I kind of like these rooms, especially these that have the two wide right here. Okay, so I think that what we do is we just do skeletons. We put skeletons at each side. Like so. Oh, put a skeleton here. 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 And here. Um, okay, maybe we don't put a skeleton here. We'll put him here instead. And we're going to need someone to guard right here. 
Yes. And put you right here. Okay. I think what we do is we just do this and then this. The only exception is going to be if there's a creature spawner, what I call a creature spawner. Creature recruitment place, so nothing there. And we do this. Um, so there's nothing here or here then. Um, uh, this room is kind of weird. But I guess we'll keep that. So, we just do this. Okay. Alright then. Um, now we just have to decide what we're going to do. I think um, we already have a somewhat concrete formula here. We can just do this. And then do something like this. And then we just put the rest in as resources. Well, we can't put resources on top of the skeleton. Wait. There's something missing here. We need another skeleton. I thought I put in all the skeletons already. Guess I still have some skeletons in my closet. Okay, there we go. I like this room here. This room looks pretty good. Okay, so let's go ahead, follow the formula. It's always important to follow the formula. Uh, we're going to do this. And then we just um, put in the rest. And this. So this is looking unique, I would say. And this makes it a little bit easier for me anyways, because it's less... That way if I have to rebalance, then it's not going to be that hard. I can fill rooms in with stuff if I have to. If I run out of um, resources. The ability to place resources, rather. Uh, we're going to put that there instead. And we're going to put in at least two gold here. And... Um, Since this is a creature generator, then we're going to just um, basically do this. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I know I always come back, I keep coming back to this, but check this out. If we do that. I kind of like that, come to think of it. It's different, it's weird. Okay, we'll just roll with it, I guess. I don't know. That way I don't have to put in as, many, as much stuff in here. Um... Okay, so we still have oh, we still have a lot to go. Okay, I didn't realize I had that much left to go. Okay, that's fine though. We do, like I say, we do have a um, formula for this, so it's just pretty easy. All we have to do is this, and then all we have to do is um, put in more resources. Our bread and butter is putting in these resources. And we're almost done with this entire line, which is good. This line of rooms, block of rooms. And let's... Okay, we go here, and then we go here with that. And then we go here. And then we go here with that. And then we just put in these um, resources. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and see... You know, I thought I liked this, but I don't know now. I want to see how this looks a different way. Um, I keep going back to the, uh, the, the tool here. What if we do this for that, and uh, we go and do this? 
because I kind of would rather have it like this, because it's more uniform. And it kind of switches things up. Let's let's see how that looks. Okay, that looks better. Again, um, it's basically because I'm afraid that I'm running out of... Um, I'm running out of um, treasure chests and resources to place down, so I'm going to have to start making the rooms a little bit thicker, because I'm probably going to have to rebalance everything, and that is going to be a nightmare. But maybe there you can put down infinite, who knows? I hope so. But I don't wanna, want ever, any area to have way too many resources, because that's not fair. And, um, okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, well, let's see. Okay. We still have this area right here, which we do have, um... We have this area here, which we do have a formula for. This one we don't. Um, let's see. I'm not sure what to do with this room here. This one... Hmm, this one's okay. Okay, I'm going to try something. This is probably going to look terrible, but let's let's try it. Okay, for stars, we need to delete this. Um, oops. That didn't... That doesn't belong there. This might be a bad idea. I actually kind of like that. Let me see something. I think it was shift. What is to validate map tools? There are no problems with the map. Okay. Um, I kind of like this actually. Um, let me just try something else here then. Um, because we want to keep at least a little radius around it. So let's do this. Try that. It's shift V, I think. Oops, that's Control V. Okay, it's saying there's no problem with the map, so this is actually looking pretty good. I might actually undo some of the stuff I did just so that we can do this. I kind of like. Let's save. Um, this is fine where it is. I think. Um. I think what we'll do, though, is um, something like this. We'll do that, so we do, so we can still do stuff. Um, that's actually kind of cool. I like how that's there. That's fine. Okay, let's see. What was my question? I like that actually. Yeah. I, I kind of like this. This is going to turn out pretty good. Okay, so let's go ahead. Um, I want to seal the rooms. What I call seal the rooms is to put the little the little resource tiles here. Um, so that, that kind of gets me an idea of what it's going to look like when it's done anyways. And this makes the rooms more symmetrical, at least on the map. So here, um, this room is kind of an, an enigma to me. I'm not sure exactly, don't understand this room, but okay. Um, what if we did this?
Okay, I think I like that. I think I like that a lot better than the way we had it. Let's save. Okay, um... So, this area here, let's start with this room here. Um, it's hard to really have any concrete um, formula for this room. Basically because um, of reasons. But anyways, we can basically just do this. Now, this room is just weird. I don't know. Have I put in any artifacts yet? Okay, we have. Okay. I might have made this an artifact room, actually. Had I not already used an artifact here. I can always put in more artifacts if I have to. But, um... I want to try and get these big rooms out of the way because the smaller rooms are really quick and easy. So, we're just going to do this. Okay. Now, we are going to seal off this room here. What I call seal off. We're going to do this, then... This, then this, then this. Now, what we do is, since the room is sealed, we'll just do this, and we'll put in this. Oh, let's just do this. And then we'll just uh, do this. Since there's a creature spawner in here, you know, and all. Yeah. There you go. And then this room will be done. Um, basically, if we can get all these big rooms done, then it's going to be... This is shed light on what I need to do with um, the the area up here in the ice area. Because um, I was having problems with the, how big those rooms were. I think if I just basically seal the rooms in with um, obstacles, then um, it should be a lot easier and help me to focus better. There we go. Now... Um, Okay, we can seal this room in just by doing this. We can um, do this and this, this and this. And uh, we're just going to fill the rest of it in with resources. You know, like we've been doing for the past hour or so. Just basically populating the map with all these resources. Um... This is a good solution for um, the huge rooms that I ended up making. I don't really... I probably shouldn't have made so many rooms so large. But this should... Um, then plus, there's so much treasure and resources here already that this should probably balance out pretty well. Okay. Um, there... There and there. Okay, so this entire row here of rooms is done, I think. Yeah. Uh, that just leaves these rooms right here. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I'll probably end the video after I'm done with these rooms here. Um, because it should take about that amount of time. These are tiny rooms, what I would consider very small rooms. And um, so we will just um, do this. And then we just put in our good old friend, the, mer the random resources here. And, um... Okay. All we have to do is go bop, and then bop. And then I think that we'll just do this like that. And then we just go with the resources again. Okay. This, and then this, sure, and then this, and then this, okay, and then that leaves two more. And then this room is done. And that, okay. Now, um, put a treasure there, put a treasure there, and then we're going to put some gold here, and some gold here. And we just, um... Okay, um, let's see. Okay, so we just have these two rooms left. Okay, awesome. We already know how this goes. Two treasure chests per room. And then gold. Put, them, put the gold like this. And... Um,
here, here, and there, and there. That just leaves the room for the gold. Gold here, put some gold here. Okay, now that just leaves the random resources for here. Good, and good. This is looking, sizing up nicely. Okay, let's have a look at this. We're going to zoom out. I kind of like that. Zoom out again. Okay. Um, let's go ahead quickly. We're going to quickly um, go up here. This room. Okay, this room. Let's have a... I'm going to just... Before we end the video, I'm going to try this. And, uh, I think we do that. See how this looks. Hmm. I kind of like the way that looks. That's going to make it a lot easier to get stuff done. So let's go ahead and save. There we go. I'm going to save again just to be safe. Anyways, that is going to do it for this video. Um, we got a lot done today. We got more of these areas done. Let me see. We're going to zoom out first all the way. And see here, okay, we still have this area right here to do, but since I've got, since I'm going to start basically filling in some of these rooms, it shouldn't be too bad. Of course, this area is kind of complex because it has a lot of those little chambers and mazes. I don't know what I'm going to do with this area right here. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this area either, or this one. But um, all the rest of these look to be pretty, they should be pretty quick. This one I'm probably going to definitely put in some more stuff to fill in the center of the room but anyways that is um going to do it for this video if you like this content make sure you like and subscribe ring the bell so you know when i upload also if you want to support me in any way or if you want to join the discord server all the information will be in the description below and as always thanks for watching everyone you are loved and have a great day